And my focus will be on the um, duo Kwikulik. So I will, um, uh, in a minute, um, say something more about the duo itself. From praxeology to the artists of other arts association. Praxeology will be a kind of input a uh, theoretical background, the um, science that provided the artists with some uh, ideas that, uh, and with some uh, vocabulary with which they could um, describe their um, new ideas, their new uh, activities. And the artists of the other arts association, um, it, it was a kind of artistic union or association um, um, aimed at providing the artists with a kind of institutional space for practicing new kind of uh, arts, new kind of artistic practices, which uh, um, uh, they uh, viewed as a kind of uh, integrative. Okay. So the uh, aim of the presentation will be fourfold. I will try to sketch the idea of the integration of arts as conceived and uh, implemented by the Kwikulik duo at the turn of the 1960s and 1970s in the People's Republic of Poland. So this is one thing. I will also try to show a praxeology as a, as I said, a theoretical background of uh, many at least of uh, Kwikulik's ideas and practices. I will also try to argue that the very notion of uh, integration is not quite adequate to the phenomenon in question and could be either uh, substituted or supplemented with the concept of uh, transmediality. Uh, I believe the issue um, uh, has already been raised today. Someone said that uh, the idea of synthesis or integration uh, comes from uh, the 1950s and already in 1970s. It is an old idea for new set of practices. And this is exactly the case with uh, Kvikulik. They use this idea, they use this very word to describe something that kind of extends uh, beyond the uh, conceptual limits of the very uh, notion. And the last thing, I will uh, try to very briefly indicate the critical, reformative and uh, transformative implications of Kvikulik's uh, practice with regards to the conditions of artistic produ production in People's Republic of uh, Poland. Now, uh, a bit of information about the Kwiekulik uh, duo. Uh, 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 Przemysław Kwiek and Zofia Kulik uh, were partners in both life and art for over a decade, uh, 1971 to 1987, those are the conventional uh, dates. They uh, could be called neo-avant-garde artists active in the fields of, if we um, are to use those Western idioms, uh, performance, conceptual and media art. I said if we were to uh, have a recourse to those um, Western idioms, because it, it would take um, some time to um, analyze and mediate on them and uh, to show that they are not quite uh, adequate to, to what the Polish artists were doing. They are highly problematic uh, terms, um, to be precise. Now, if I am to characterize uh, um, shortly on uh, the practices or the ideas of the Kvikulik duo, I would go for such a uh, collection or selection of hashtags. For example, if I was to describe them or using Twitter or Facebook, I would uh, use those very notions. So processual and ephemeral activities. The, at the beginning of uh, 70s, uh, during the 70s, uh, they uh, wouldn't call their practices performances or happenings. They would use this very word, activities. In Polish, działania. Okay? Now, life and art, connected, intertwined, uh, put together. So this is a, a motive we all know uh, very well and they would go for it. Uh, being in common, cooperation and collectivity, especially at the uh, beginning of the 70s, probably in the very first uh, half of the 70s, those were the very anthropological and sociological um, uh, uh, values that uh, Kwikulik declared as important to them. Now, primary role of documentation. Um, in striking uh, difference to many Western, for example, performance artists who 
um, uh, voted for live art, performance art, as uh, something that even should not be or must not be uh, documented, registered. Um, Kvikulik, from the very beginning, from the uh, turn of uh, uh, 60s and 70s, stressed the need, the absolute need of uh, documentation and um, uh, the very act of documenting um, ephemeral practices was usually a part of the artistic idea, of the artistic concept of the practice. The last thing uh, would be uh, registering and commenting upon uh, material, economic, social and political conditions of uh, artistic production and also life in the Communist uh, People's Republic of uh, Poland. I believe that the worst um, uh, notion would be institutional critique, but this is the, 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 uh, another highly problematic um, uh, term with reference to uh, Kwikulik, so I uh, preferred to use uh, this um, uh, description. Now, Kwikulik are also uh, famous um, for uh, having established and um, uh, run uh, for a long time what they called um, Pracownia Działań Dokumentacji i Upowszechniania, which in English would be Studio of Activities, uh, Documentation and Propagation, or widespreading the, the information about uh, what and other artists are doing. They were from uh, very early 70s on creating and performing the act, the archive of their own practices as well as the um, uh, changing groups of the artists they, in a way, uh, were um, uh, befriended with or they cooperated uh, with. And they would uh, do it in a twofold way. They would give the information about Polish ephemeral art, especially to some um, foreigners, to art critics or other artists that would come and visit them, visit the um, studio of activities, documentation and propagation. And they they would also use the uh, documentation, the material, especially slides, uh, to um, prepare what they called directed multi-projection. So they would use the material not as documents, but simply as visual material. They would um, uh, put the slides in certain order as to make them a kind of new work of uh, uh, art. And uh, here you've got two um, uh, photographs. Uh, the one in the uh, left-hand upper um, corner is uh, from uh, 1971, from Galeria Współczesna in uh, Warsaw, and it shows uh, Zofia Kulik, the one with uh, the finger, and um, on her uh, right is Przemysław Kwiek. And they are about to uh, do such uh, multi-projections using free um, uh, slide project projectors uh, Zofia bought at the beginning of 70s in London. And uh, the Kwiekulik duo would uh, use the projectors uh, until the eight of, uh, 80s. Um, they are preparing to give such a directed um, uh, projection to um, uh, probably to um, a group of students because they were showing the projections to different uh, groups of uh, viewers. The other picture shows the interior of their, um, uh, their flat at the, um, uh, probably in the middle of 70s, and uh, they uh, again are preparing to give such, um, uh, this time, informative uh, um, projection show to um, a couple of uh, foreigners, art critics and, uh, and um, uh, artists. It was, uh, if I'm correct, at uh, the AICA um, conference that uh, took place in uh, 1975 in uh, Warsaw. Now, uh, uh, as for the, uh, the integration of arts, I believe that uh, the concept uh, was uh, in a way uh, transferred to Kwiekulik by Oskar Hansen. Kwiekulik um, uh, were trained as artists um, in uh, the Academy of Fine Arts in Warsaw um, at the end of the 60s, and they um, attended several studios. The studio of, of Oskar Hansen was uh, one of those, and uh, Hansen was, of course, an artist architect, a late modernist uh, um, uh, architect that uh, came up with his famous, uh, especially nowadays, philosophy of open form. And um, the, the studio within the academy was um, 
designed to show um, uh, sculptors and painters and other artists how to cooperate with each other and to be prepared to um, design and implement uh, ideas uh, together within the framework of uh, architecture. Okay, so uh, the integration of arts uh, was um, the term Kvikuli would use, and they would uh, define it in this way. One artist can perform all the arts, which means that artists from one disciplinary field, for example, from uh, painting or sculpture, Kvikulik and, uh, I mean, uh, Kulik and Kvik were sculptures, uh, should be able to act creatively in all the other fields of art and use their respective media, materials, uh, techniques, and so on and so um, uh, forth. Um, uh, Kvikulik would uh, show two sources of legitimacy of such uh, idea. They wanted to show it, that it is legitimate, that you can actually deduce it from ideas, context or phenomena that were already accepted within the framework of um, socialist uh, Poland uh, uh, of uh, 1960s and 70s. So um, uh, they would uh, go for uh, conceptual art. Um, in the first place. They would show that conceptual art um, already allows um, artists to cross the traditional division of labor. It sounds a bit Marxist, but the, probably they, they wouldn't use uh, such a description. Uh, still, it, uh, I believe, adequately describes uh, their intentions. So, uh, as um, Zofia Kulik uh, put it at the beginning of the 70s, the integration of sculptor, painter, and printmaker into an artist. This is what conceptualism um, uh, uh, seems to have, um, uh, sorry, to have uh, brought to them. And the integration of artist, scientist, poet, and theoretician into a conceptualist. This is yet another uh, integration that they um, viewed as valuable and as something that um, uh, gives uh, legitimacy to their own ideas and uh, practices. Another such um, context they um, viewed as kind of helpful for um, the development of their own ideas and practices was what they called a next, a second, a third, uh, it depends how you count them, a next wave of a scientific and technological revolution. And now if you um, had a look at the 1960s and 70s in Poland, um, the recurring theme uh, connected with modernization and development would be exactly scientific and technological revolution. It was well established in the uh, public sphere, in the popular uh, consciousness, and Kvikulik uh, decided that it would be uh, okay to um, have recourse to those uh, ideas and to show that um, uh, their artistic practices are uh, strictly connected to what the scientific and technological revolution uh, brings with, it, with uh, itself. So they pointed out that uh, the very revolution in question meant the integration of separate scientific fields into new interdisciplinary approaches. And this is exactly what happens uh, since at least uh, um, uh, World War II, yes? Uh, for example, cybernetics, information theory, game theory, uh, such new discourses were uh, interdisciplinary and they already uh, crossed the uh, established uh, earlier uh, divisions between the different um, scientific uh, fields. So Kvikulik uh, simply um, indicated that an integration of arts being a result of those um, scientific and uh, technological uh, changes should uh, follow. And this is what they wanted to uh, do. Now, praxeology. Praxeology uh, seemed, uh, especially to um, Przemysław Kwiek, uh, yet another interdisciplinary science. At Exactly, it was one. Yeah? It was uh, invented and defined by a Polish uh, philosopher Tadeusz Kotarbiński as a science of uh, efficient action, where efficient meant both uh, effective and economical. 
So uh, Kotarbinsky was already stating uh, between the wars and in the 50s, in the 60s, that uh, the, his um, idea, praxeology, um, could be connected with uh, other interdisciplinary um, sciences as game theory, cyber cybernetics, and so on and so forth. And he also pointed out that uh, it was to be a general science describing the mechanisms, the rules of every kind of action, of every kind of acting. Okay? And he also uh, pointed out that uh, there uh, are both theoretical and practical uh, aims to a uh, praxeology. It, um, it aims at establishing general, as I said, rules of all kinds of actions, and it also um, is designed to make human actions more efficient. So simply this practical uh, um, uh, goal was uh, also um, uh, kind of uh, put into relief. Now, for Kwiekulik, um, the um, readings, especially on the part of uh, Przemysław Kwiek, um, of, of um, books by uh, Kotarbiński, and they also attended his lectures in uh, Warsaw in 1970s, were, I believe, first of all, a kind of confirmation of their own artistic intuitions. It wasn't like that they are uh, read um, uh, Kotarbinsky's books and uh, it was only then that they came to the idea of integration of arts and new kinds of practices. This was like a kind of um, a confirmation, as I said, of intuitions, but also a source of concepts for building a theory of what they um, came to uh, call uh, activities. And I believe that at least three different um, motives from uh, Kotarbinsky's uh, praxeology um, could have been of value and of interest to Kwiekulik. Kotarbinsky spoke about the generati generativity of the difference, where different uh, people, where different um, uh, skills meet um, confront each other, and from this very confrontation, something new may be um, uh, born in a way. Um, uh, also, Kotarbinsky pointed out that um, uh, there can be a differentiation between cooperation, positive and negative. An example of negative cooperation would be war, for example, but also um, kind of uh, trying to, to win with one another. Okay, so this is uh, this is a conceptual division that was also used by uh, Kwiekulik, and uh, the, the last one would be cooperation as a kind of uh, game. And uh, Kwiekulik very early on. The, the uh, 1970 or 71 started to use the very concept of game to describe some of their um, uh, activities. Those are the two uh, books that uh, were uh, carefully studied by Kwikulik at the beginning of the 70s. Uh, a treatise on um, a good um, work, the, the, the one on the left, and uh, um, the, the, the watchword of uh, good work, the other one. Okay. Now, uh, I will show you how those two domains, two, the two realms, praxeology and um, art, uh, the, the new activities by Kwikuli, how they were um, connected uh, by the uh, artists. So, um, I quote, an artist creating a work of art in a given material, a sketch, a painting, a sculpture, film, poem, dance, is simply acting. Okay, so um, Kotarbinsky spoke about actions and uh, acting, and uh, Kwiekulik established that uh, whatever you do as an um, um, artist, yeah, uh, you simply act, you simply are acting. And they um, declared that, uh, um, I quote, we are less interested in the object that will come to life and more in the activity itself, okay? So the process uh, values more than the object. Now, um, uh, they built kind of deduction, and I will uh, go uh, um, shortly uh, through it. Uh, they said that, uh, for imagine an action, modeling materials, let's call it, uh, and let's describe it in such a general way. Uh, a science that uh, would be um, appropriate here would be engineering, all kinds of engineering, and an art that would um, uh, reflect uh, the, the very uh, mode of acting would be sculpture. Now, uh, when the action is coating surfaces with layers of color, the science or sciences um, uh, adequate here would be technology and psychophysiology of colors, and the art would be painting. 
where uh, the action uh, would be um, uh, filling papers with words, which is a very funny description. Um, the science would be linguistics and the art here will be a literature. And now we are coming to the to the point, uh, there are, I, I'm quoting, the, uh, there are sciences that are connected with activities in general, all kinds of activities in Polish działania, and uh, such, a, um, such a science is praxeology or theory of activity, and the art in this domain is działania or działania, the activities. So um, from particular kinds of action connected with particular kinds of sciences and arts, they are coming to a general uh, science of action and a general um, uh, practice of acting creatively, I would say, or artistically. And this um, uh, domain is Jawani. So we say all people act and uh, the, the quotation goes, just as science concerning activities takes into account a wide, very wide scope of uh, activities, functions, ways of behavior, we, uh, which are encompassed in the different professions, the art of jawania, of activities, embraces the element of uh, proceeding from all the arts. Okay, and in 1972, they managed to organize uh, to, uh, what is in my mind uh, the fullest implementation of the idea of integration of arts and activities um, uh, understood in uh, this very way. In a, a state television studio, they managed to um, perform, I would say, um, uh, several uh, actions, and one of them um, entailed um, coming together by a group of artists representing different uh, disciplinary fields. There were painters, poets, musicians, uh, sculptors, and uh, one performance artist. Um, artists from different um, uh, disciplinary fields would uh, arrange a kind of stands, a kind of uh, places with uh, the instruments or materials um, connected with this very um, uh, artistic field. And the idea was that all the artists coming from the different um, uh, artistic fields would go through all the uh, stands. And it's easy to predict how a painter would um, uh, act with um, uh, canvas or uh, paints, uh, brushes, at, uh, and so on. But uh, how would a musician uh, act with uh, such uh, media, such, such materials? So the whole idea, and the Kvikulik organized the, the whole event and uh, kind of um, uh, framed it conceptually, was to allow each of the artists to use a certain uh, creative capacities that were kind of um, hidden and not developed during their own um, artistic training. For example, a sculptor was to develop only the sculptural um, interests, uh, capacities, uh, abilities, and so on. Okay, so uh, being given a different set of instruments, how would he behave? Okay, he could, and this was the hope uh, behind this very project, he could um, discover some uh, new creative uh, capacities on his uh, or her part and could uh, later on use them in a kind of uh, more uh, systematic, analytical uh, way. So the whole enterprise was uh, described as a kind of um, um, intuitive cooperation, and they would also call it visual jazz, because it seemed like um, uh, jazz improvisation. Okay, um, as I said at the beginning, the integration of arts may seem as being not quite uh, adequate a term to describe uh, this very um, uh, project, for example, as it suggests a synthesis into a kind of total, total art, a kind of melting of all the different um, uh, disciplines and their uh, elements, and it may also suggest a, a return to a single source of all arts. This was not the case. Uh, um, uh, and uh, I believe this quotation shows it um, very well. Uh, the value of jawania of activities, for art and artists lies in the accumulation of the ways and effects of proceeding, which may be applied to all arts. Cameraman's work, sculpture acting, stage designing, film directing, painting, poetry, music, dance, and so on. And uh, this is the uh, way they describe a kind of uh, procedure. Um, uh, from the arts, from the um, traditional system 
and the traditional divisions between the arts uh, to działania where all those uh, elements can be transferred from one um, uh, domain to another, but then the uh, effects, the consequences of such a mingling or uh, transferring are to uh, be brought back to the arts. So the insistence on the fact of the plur plurality of the arts uh, pr um, prevented Kwiekulik from uh, um, designing, uh, even on the conceptual level, a kind of total art. This was something else. And I believe that uh, the uh, contemporary term uh, transmedia or transdisciplinary practices is um, a kind of better instrument to describe uh, this kind of activities, even though we, uh, of course, risk a kind of anachrony. Uh, two other examples uh, uh, chosen from a wide variety of, of possible uh, choices. Um, uh, the one in the uh, left up uh, corner uh, comes from uh, the turn of the uh, 70s and the 80s. Um, it was called Działania na głowę, which may be translated as um, actions on the head. And as you can see, uh, a traditional material uh, for sculpting and traditional, uh, traditional way to use it is kind of uh, transferred okay, into the domain of performance art. Another thing is with, with the other um, photograph, it shows um, uh, uh, an activity from uh, uh, 1986. It was called uh, Reistic Fieta. Reistic uh, meaning connected with things or concerning things, but Reistic was also used by um, Kotarbiński um, as a term to describe his ontology conception. He believed there are only things and uh, uh, relationships do not really exist. This is just a way of uh, speaking. Okay? Um, there are only um, things. And especially Przemek, uh, Przemysław Kwiek, um, is uh, kind of um, uh, very interested in uh, this idea by uh, Kotarbiński, and that's why they used uh, this uh, term for the title of uh, the, um, the action. Um, in this case, what they did was to act performatively, but in such a way as to um, become a series of slides. They wouldn't move during the performance. They would simply um, arrange themselves with the things into such uh, uh, images, such pictures, and then they would present themselves to the public in such a way. They, they would uh, switch the, the things, they would arrange differently, and they would come out as yet another such slide. So um, uh, a mechanism uh, very characteristic of uh, uh, photography and slide projection was kind of transferred into the domain of uh, performance uh, art. And uh, the last uh, point I would like to uh, briefly uh, touch upon is what can be called Kwiekulik's artistic uh, politics and uh, what I decided to call a reformative uh, urge. What they were doing all throughout 1970s and 80s uh, could not really be called a kind of institutional critique. First of all, it wasn't, um, it wasn't performed uh, within the what we call the white cube. It wasn't inst institutional critique as an art form. Those were at least aimed to be uh, real practices, real actions, and they would go to different um, instances of power, to different authorities, and they would demand changes to the uh, conditions of artistic productions in um, the People's Republic of Poland. They were um, very often they would uh, suggest that um, the existing uh, conditions of production are um, designed so as to fit the needs of traditional arts. For example, if we take um, uh, SPAP, Polish Visual Artist Union, um, it used to have um, departments or divisions that would reflect the divisions of the traditional arts uh, system. There would be um, a painting division, a sculpture division, and so on. Okay, so what Kwiekulik and some other artists uh, with them um, would demand um, was uh, creating a special and yet another space for such 
uh, non-traditional arts and non-traditional artists, uh, thanks to uh, which space they could they could um, have their own events, um, um, uh, artistic magazines, uh, uh, and especially uh, money for um, uh, exhibitions and for for uh, practice. So uh, we could um, and uh, I have chosen again a, a selection. We could um, find uh, repeated attempts at institutional reform on the part of Kwiekulik and some other artists that used to um, uh, cooperate with them at different uh, stages. Um, very early on, 1971, they have just uh, finished um, the Academy of Fine Arts in Warsaw. They are the co-organizers of the All Arts Integrative, I would call the, uh, this event in this way, Festival of Artistic Schools in Novaruda. And this was one of the early um, attempts to uh, provide, uh, especially young artists, even students of artistic schools, with such a space in which uh, the, the traditional divisions uh, could not be kept. Okay, and they could intermingle, they could transfer the um, uh, artistic um, uh, abilities and ca capacities from one field to another. Between uh, 1971 and 1973, um, they made several attempts to start experimental art integrative studios, both at the Academy of Fine Arts and also at the uh, state television in uh, Warsaw. They did not uh, succeed. Um, in 1974, at also at the beginning of the 80s, they made uh, several attempts to establish what they called a section of other arts. Uh, alternatively, uh, they called it um, uh, other media or non-traditional arts within the SPAP, which is this uh, traditional Polish Visual Artists Union. Uh, in 1974, uh, there was a meeting in Jabłonna near Warsaw, in which um, uh, Kwiekulik, along wi uh, with some other young artists that uh, protested against the um, existing um, uh, conditions of uh, artistic production and uh, demanded the change they were invited for the meeting with the, um, uh, those who ran this uh, Polish Visual Artists Union and with some representative of the Communist Party. I believe that the Vice Minister of the Department of Culture and Art was also, also a present. Then they um, postulated uh, creating this section of other arts, but they were denied. The, the, the um, uh, head of the Polish Visual Arts Union said it was too early okay, for creating such a thing. Okay? Uh, they, um, uh, in, uh, in late 70s, they made another attempt to, uh, with a group of artists, to um, uh, construct, to, to build a kind of uh, artistic association. And uh, uh, it wouldn't be a part of SPAP, of Polish Visual Artists Union, but another association. But they uh, did not manage to register it officially. Uh, they, they wanted to make it official, as you can see, in all the cases. Okay? And uh, in the uh, 1980s, um, uh, we uh, face, uh, we, we um, witnessed uh, the process of establishing of SASI, uh, the Artists of Other Arts Association. The, the, the Polish abbreviation stands for Stowarzyszenie Artystów Sztuk Innych, so the Artists of Other Arts um, Association. Um, uh, they uh, finally managed to uh, register uh, this association and to, to uh, simply start it uh, at the end of the 80s and it was already too late. We can consider the establishment of this association as a kind of uh, belated, only symbolic gesture. Okay? And in the 90s they organized several uh, performance artist meetings at uh, um, uh, Center of Contemporary Art in Warsaw and Museum, uh, National Museum in uh, Warsaw. Um, three or four uh, such um, events, but that's it. The association uh, did not um, become a kind of um, artist union, so it um, didn't have any, uh, for example, um, any power or any, any, um, any, it was impossible for them to uh, fight for establishment of um, uh, new uh, conditions of artistic uh, production. But I believe that the very fact of uh, having established this institution, quasi-institution, was a um, uh, uh, symbolic gesture, as I said, a kind, something that uh, helps us to witness uh, the 
panoramic, the all-encompassing uh, view of what it needs for such integrative uh, new practices to be um, performed by uh, the artists. Not only do they need to uh, simply perform the uh, practices, but they also need a special um, uh, field, a special uh, institution that would uh, fight for some, uh, certain um, uh, changes, certain new um, uh, elements in the field of artistic uh, production. And, uh, I believe that's it. Thank you very much for your attention.